right, so let's start it up this way. Okay. So, this will be my 8 billionth attempt at starting up a Stoneblock 2 uh, YouTube series. Um, the last one was add some copyright music, even though I had some royalty free sound uh, Spotify stuff going, but apparently it was copyrighted. So, uh, hopefully, this will work. Be a, like I said, attempt like a billion. Uh, this is here. I'm running it again. Um, the furthest I got was making a wither farm and uh, not a wither skeleton, but a wither farm. Bob Crusher, automated power, auto seeds, stuff like that. So I didn't get a, very far into it, but I guess I could say I got a decent bit. Um, so I want to make this series. Because A, I like playing Minecraft, it's fun, um, and it's entertaining to me. Uh, I play Tarkov, usually a majority of the time I stream, I stream on Twitch, uh, but I've lately gotten a little bit frustrated with it, triggered, whatever, um, and I like to, like, en not end stream early, but like transfer games so that I can just, uh, calm or chill out or whatever uh and just play some minecraft it's always been one of my default go back to um things and i i'm an, and I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of skyblocks really uh things uh generally mod packs that have quest lines like this and stuff um i, I they are um, I'm not a fan not necessarily a fan of the farming to get what it is i need but i mean I've never made it to the end, made infinity weapons or whatever the case may be, so maybe this will be the uh, first time. Um, but as I play, I'm going to hopefully help teach you how to play the mod pack and what it is to do. Um, I don't expect these uh, episodes to go very long, maybe an hour at most. Um, I was planning 30 minutes, but I don't know. And I'm not good at... I, I, I'm not going to edit, so... There might be some like filler where I'm like sieving or something, because uh, I haven't learned how to edit videos yet. So um, we'll just have to learn as we go, I guess. And hopefully my videos get better. Um, but so for the start, this is Stoneblock 2. Um, like I said, I've played this before a bit. I have a couple other uh, um, game files of me being a little bit ahead, but we'll just start off at the basics. Uh, so this is just like any other skyblock really um kind of like sky factory you start off in the world of a w literal world made of stone um and you start from there you may uh, so we'll just go through the quest lines as is like sky factory you would start on a tree and then you'd break the tree get some saplings grow another tree rinse and repeat and go from there this is starting off at stone so first off in our inventory we get um we get um, a pet rock, a stonium, to tame the pet rock. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There was one time I loaded in and I had to use five and it didn't work. It didn't tame the pet. Sometimes it happens right off the bat. It's whatever. I don't mind a stone running around in my base, but it'll end up getting into lava or whatever You know, I have sitting around and, and eventually die. If it's tamed, I can at least move it around um, into different corners, and it's cool. It's It's a... I nice pet to talk to. Um, I think you can rename it with a tag or something. I'm not sure. But for now, boom, best friends forever. Um, right clicking on it will change it uh, so it'll move around with you if it's smiling. If if it's in the sideways H, I guess that's what you call it, it uh, will just turn and look at you, but it'll stay in place. So you can move it around. Like I'm just going to move it back into the middle back here. Move it just he watches me like this eh, right there. Boom. And it'll just sit there and watch me. So for starters, uh the first thing in the quest is to uh get stone pebbles, which is you get stone pebbles by punching or breaking uh stone with your hand. And it'll break the stone and then you get pebbles. Like that. Two to four varying, but uh What's going to happen is, is I'm probably going to... I have a little small OCD problem where I want things to look the same as I do it. So I'll go around and I'll break all of the blocks um, so that they 
each wall will look the same. Just a little OCD habit of mine. And it'll complete a quest, and hopefully, maybe it'll also complete another quest. I'll get enough stone pebbles to make a bunch of stone. I have a small OCD habit. If I can turn on some music in the background, and hopefully, not be um, um, copyrighted music. I mean, it literally says royalty free, no copyright music. So, here's hoping, I guess. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go through and just, uh, make everything match. When I stream, it lags a little bit, so, but it's not as bad. I'm not, I'm not streaming right now, I'm just recording. I'm undecided whether or not I want to, I want to stream while I do this. I mean, I do, I want to, I want to stream and record at the same time, but my computer can't, can't really handle um streaming and recording i lag a little bit when i do it um and you can see it you can still see it now and all i'm doing is recording and i don't understand why i'll have to go in and look i guess but it's not as bad as what happens when i'm streaming so and this will be the last block yeah see you can still feel it a little bit i need to figure it out why it's doing that it shouldn't be that bad. I just got a new video card not too long ago. That co that'll complete another quest. So we get random rewards as we complete quests. And they can be anything. Um, like, he see, here's two ender tanks. That's pretty That's pretty good. Um, and then we got a comp quest for doing 12 cobblestone. So, uh, is, okay, that's too many. I think. I would feel that that's too many. Um... um to make the chest, you would treat stone the same way you would treat wood, pretty much. And you can make sticks with them. Uh, that's This is how you make the pattern you need four of these to make the stone chest. Which I'll do just to get the quest done. Uh, make stone rods. Uh, you take four of them like you would uh, planks to make a um, stone crafting table. And then, uh, the, so the next quest, apples... I like to move my food usually over to the far right. That's what I'm used to uh, as I played the game. Complete this one. I got a basic flux storage. That's pretty good. Um, the next one. So I'm going to make, for starters, I'm going to make um, the stone chest that will allow me to store um, stuff in, obviously, place. We'll just put this stuff in here for now. Um, I don't think that, yeah, the 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 crafting table doesn't link up with the, any chests because it's a basic crafting table. It's not a um, crafting station, and the crafting station is usually the one that can sync up. So we make uh, stone rods, and then we just make a hammer, and we can use the hammer to, well, of course, break out the um, yes. Um, we'll just break the stone into cobblestone, and then we'll do this for a little bit. Like I said, we're gonna make it uniform. And then if you craft the, if you use a hammer on the cobblestone, it becomes uh, gravel. And then if you do it again, it become. If you do the gravel, uh, it becomes uh, dirt. And it, and that's how you are able to get saplings. And you only really need to get like two dirt blocks one to make saplings and one to um one to get a sapling and the other one to grow so like we'll just i didn't put it on another one do that gravel next to each other vein mining or ore excavations in the thing and you'll see this pop up a lot because i haven't changed the keybind for this and i'm kind of lazy i won't lie about that I'm gonna put this dirt pile or dirt right in the middle, and we'll make a crook. There's other crooks that you can make. There's other stone crooks you can make. If you put four pebbles in the normal order of a stone crook, you'll get one. And I think it works the same, but it doesn't complete the quest, uh, which is the next one. So we got dirt, and we could because we made a stone hammer and dirt, uh, and it'll tell you up here. Uh, a water candle 
it, you use it to spawn, to increase the spawns, which will make a uh, mob spawn eventually. And it's going to be one of the ones that you can attack because the ones that drop down just continuously make items and kind of like will bog down the um, what you're playing on. Ooh, a capacitor. That's good for later. Um, okay, so now we get wood. And to get wood, you place one dirt and use the crook. And we get a sapling. Oh. I don't know if this will work. I think jungle saplings are huge, aren't they? I'm almost positive they are. So I'm going to sit here and do this. And I'm going to get another one of these. I'm almost positive. Oh, okay. I guess I was wrong. Well, that works. And then you can you, you can also use the crook on the leaves and you get saplings. And silkworm for string later on. So we break down the jungle wood. I was wrong. I thought, well, oh wait, no. Okay, so yeah, so if we put three more and we make this bigger, we can get vines. I remember that. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to keep doing this actually because we need, uh, according to this, we need 16 of them. So we're going to keep going. Um, We have six. So uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to... Ooh, lag. Ooh. Didn't like that. I don't, I don't know if throwing worms on jungle leaves is really... Wow, that was pretty bad lag. Um, We'll let that infest. Uh, if you put silkworms on to tree leaves... Uh, they infest the leaves, and eventually they just become infested leaves. And then if you break them down with a uh, stone crook, you get string instead of saplings and stuff. So, And they infest around them as well. Um, we're going to let that go for a moment. And while we're here, we're going to um, hold on to that for now. I guess we'll just put the sticks. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Once this is done, I will hit, I will, or excavate, or vein mine all of it. And you can tell when they're done, they, they get the darker color. We're looking for what's up on the top. I think I might need to do this one more time, and that'll, that'll be enough. Because we're going to use a string to make string mesh meshes in a sieve. Um... Or for the sieves, because that's how we get our ores and stuff. Granted, there's a mining, there's a uh, mining dimension that all you gotta do is tunnel, uh, or make stairs up to the ceiling in this world, in the overworld, because there's no ore in here. You go, then what will happen is, is you'll hit the ceiling and you'll go to the mining. You'll get teleported to the mining dimension, and then if you keep, if you tunnel up in the mining dimension. Or stairs up into the mining dimension, whichever the case may be, you reach the end. And you can get end stuff there. It's not, but they don't look like a normal end dimension. They look like the stone world, and the mining world looks, it's all stone with ores in it, and the end world is kind of like it's like a cave where you can like fight at the ender chicken, and there's different. Levels of ender chicken. Not ender dragon. You fight the ender chicken. So. One more time. That'll complete the quest. And then we'll use the wood to make. Um, some actual stone tools. And I'm probably going to. Like I did before. I have to. I have to go back and. That's the last video, but over there, I'm going to make a bigger area to grow four trees at a time. Not together, um, because you can't do that with jungle. They'll become huge, and I would need to clear out a large area to do that. And then the right side will be where I sieve. Alright, so we got three quests done, because we kind of did a little bit step ahead on the silkworms, which, by the way, you can cook in a furnace, and you will make... Um, cooked worms to eat. I'm going to eat an apple. I have one loss. So we got this done, uh, which will get us an induction smelter. 
need power for that, but that's a pretty good, pretty good start. And then, uh, cause we got the silkworm and we infested the leaves. We got this one done. Water mill. Oh, interesting. I'll do it later, but this gives us GP power, um, for some useful items that we need GP power for, like the angel ring, if we happen to get it from a reward. Um, so I don't want to, I want to get into Tinker. Oh, forgot to do that too. Oh, we got to, oh, that's. Okay, so we got a cobblestone generator. And I'm going to set the cobblestone generator up. But I'm going to make another one just to show, or at least get all the items to show how to make one. That's a little bit of a shortcut, and can you can get lucky like this. But, um. Uh, just to kind of like speed up a little bit of the mod pack or a little bit of the progress from when I failed making a, the first video. Uh, I'm just going to set this up. Mm. All right. We're not going to set it up right now. Set it up in a moment. Uh, first off, we're going to immediately make a own pickaxe. And we're going to get some of this cleared out. I'm undecided. Do I want to remove that? I don't know. Let's see how it looks after I do this. But, um, you know what? I'm going to leave that there for now. And I'm not... I forgot to mention... I'm bad at phrasing as well as I'm not good at architecture, but I like, you know, I want to do more unique things. I want to design it a little bit different just to, you know, get better at it, learn as I go. Um, I'm used to just looking up builds on, you know, Google or whatever, cause I'm not, I'm not good at it myself, but, uh, you know, there's always a, there's always a good time to start. Um, yeah, I'm going to set it up over here. Because this is where I'm going to do the sieving. So if I if I set it up right here, I could just come out and grab them. So what the cobblestone generator is going to do is it will always... Add, it'll, I'm not sure. It's not one a tick. I don't know. How, it's like one a second, maybe. One every two seconds. You get one cobblestone every two seconds. And it will input it into this. Or it can input it into a hopper. And then input from that hopper into whatever it is in a machine or whatever it may be. Um, and then you can upgrade it by surrounding it in a crafting grid with iron or diamond or emerald. Uh, I'm not sure. I think blaze rods uh, and increase the speed at which it produces cobblestone, uh, which we'll get into that later. Um, so for now, we're going to make a crafting... Um, Oops, I don't know why I did it twice. A crafting grid as well as we're going to make another double chest. And that way, uh, instead of this... Um, oh, yeah, we need to also make an axe. I don't actually need more sticks. Uh, we'll make a stone axe. Um, and we'll pick up crafting table. And then we'll put... We'll make turn this into a crafting station. You can't make a crafting slab, unfortunately, not in this one. And then we'll put the chest next to it so that the crafting station will connect on the right side all the time. And I had it on the left previously, and then if I put like this chest on the right side, it would only look at the stone chest, which is unfortunate. And we'll take everything out of here. Actually, you know what? No, we'll leave this box for the miscellaneous items that we get from rewards. Um, and then we'll use this box, put all of our extra stuff in that way we, um, you know, the useful stuff that we would normally use, like we'll put that there. That's going to grow. We're going to do that. Um, and then I put the book away for some reason. Uh, okay. So we make a, we probably... We're going to do this a couple more times, I think. Actually, you know what? We're going to uh, expand this room into... Or we're going to expand into... I have a lot of things going on in my mind right now. How about, for starters, let's make a 
uh, furnace. And then let's set the furnace up. Yeah. No, that's not going to work. Well, you know what? That's actually fine. We'll just leave it there for now. So we'll get the... Uh, we'll get some of... The, actually, you know what? We'll just put half of it in there. We'll put this back. And we're going to grow another tree so that we can put make charcoal. So we can make torches. That was quick. I'm going to need a new uh, crook. Yep. I'm getting some, uh, just a little bit of lag. But I'll work on that afterwards. All right. Or that. Plant another one. Put the jungle wood in there. That's some lighting as well. And then we'll go and expand. So we want to go um, maybe the same size as the room. Actually, here, let's, let's see. Let's just go. Okay, so here's the front of the room. Door. And then we want it to be four. Maybe. Advertisement. No, please. That might ruin everything. Um. Yeah, we're going to just open this up. Probably, I'm not sure. Like, okay, so we're going to we're going to need to go higher in this place because uh, trees need to grow grow and they need a lot more space in the ceiling uh, up in the ceiling to grow. So, I was not going to put them together, of course, but I was going to keep them separated by one block. I'm not sure that this uh, how jungle saplings gonna work. I might have to change saplings so that I'm able to do that. But I'm hoping that the same way I did last time, uh, I'm able to make them in kind of like a diamond pa pattern or something. I'm not sure. Just a block in the middle, and then on each side have a dirt pile or dirt block, and then grow them like that. We'll see. We'll have to see. So this is a little bit of filler right now. Um, I do, I can make some torches. Let me do this. Fix. Grab that. I don't think we need eight torches. Should be fine. Oh, I could make tiny torches. Can you make tiny torches? Can make tiny torches. Eh. Okay, so you can make so you can turn one charcoal into eight pieces and make tiny torches, but being e easy to make wood or to get wood, I'm just gonna make regular torches. I'm gonna remove this, put that there, put that back there, um, and then for the torches, for now, we'll put one on the same spot here, here. And once I get this one figured out, so what was I doing? Going a little bit too far. I feel like I went a little bit too far. No. No, I'm going to have to replace that one with stone. So it should be like this, and I hope that this works. Oh, I need to make a new, new, uh, new pickaxe. bit of lag from me jumping up and down from the hole. Alright. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to make it like as wide uniform kind of thing. Not sure. I think it should be fine. One, two. This would be technically one, two, and then the door. So it 
Seems fine to me. I might. That might be a problem. I'll have to look at it after I'm done. But this is just an area for growing trees to get wood. And string if I need it. Other stuff, of course. I think this is the last one and I also have to go up a little bit on the ceiling I, as far as I can look up in pickaxe no I think I might need to go I think I'm gonna go one more I think I think about this one maybe I mean this looks about right we'll see if I'm able to grow everything so like I have to go up like this is as high as I can go I remember the last time me doing it like this I was able to grow every tree so hopefully it'll be the same I'm gonna need a new pickaxe by the time this is over with and remember I can put all the cobblestone in the box with the cobblestone generator I mean, I'm still going to need to make lava and I'm still going to need to make water, so. Uh, I'll, so I'll, I'll be able to make another cobblestone generator, but I'll just make the items for it. So, and then show it in the crafting grid. I mean, if you ever, like, have a question for um, how to make an item, you can just type in the name of the item um cobblestone and then like left click on it and it'll show you how to make it with the various items and they'll change of course lava and water i found out that you can't use a clay water bucket and an iron lava bucket they have to be the same and that's called jei so it makes learning really easy uh if the mod pack that you're playing with doesn't have jei it's a little bit harder it's a lot harder to be honest with you um, I'm so used to using JEI, it, it's just so helpful. My first mod pack I started playing was Sky Factory 3. Like, I had, actually didn't even play vanilla. I just straight up jumped into mod packs. Um, and that was the first mod pack I played. And I watched uh, Bacon Donut and his videos. And I learned from him. And I just started playing different mod packs. Sky Factory 4, Stone Block, Stone Block, uh, um, Stone Block and Stone Block 2, F2B Infinity, all of, all of the, or a lot of the F2B revelations, stuff like that, all the mods 3 and 4, and different mod packs. I tried M, uh, what is it? M MC Eternal? Uh, RL craft those are like I said I'm, I'm more for ones with with uh, quest uh, progression kind of things like usually it's usually skyblock stuff I, I like that stuff almost done we're almost done with this After I get this set up, I, I think I might spend a little bit of time making the sieves. Um, my my goal was is to make like to get the items for a cobblestone generator, so it shouldn't take the very long. Be able to put a torch. Oh, up one more. Nope, that's too high. There we go. Um. Okay, so we place one four and we hit the all being mine hammer I don't understand why it, it doesn't bane mine exactly the four that I put there or it did no it didn't 
Okay, so if I do this again, that's four. One, two, three, four. And then I this. Okay, that's four. Cool. One, two, three, four. What else happens? What else happens? Like this. And let's see if it works. See if this area is big enough. Okay, one. Two. Oh, yep, it's working. Three. Yes, and then this area is wide open, so this one should grow and be four. Cool. This is enough area. All right. The jungle, or, bleh, the jungle saplings aren't together. They still have a block in between them. They are able to grow. I don't know why this one's not growing. Is it because of stuff? Nope. Oh, there it is. Oh. And we vein mine. Get a bunch of saplings. The wood. Put them back. Surprised the one. That, I'm surprised that one didn't grow while I was bouncing around over there. Uh, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make, we'll turn all of these into sticks. Boom. Um, yeah, all of that. That's fine. Um, we'll take that. Yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, we're going to make sieves. So that would be, I think that's enough. Uh, we're just going to go with the basic nine and we'll expand later. Um, and we'll, we'll probably turn it into a five by five. And what's going to happen is, is I'm going to go clear this area out right next to it. Um, or right next to us. And we're just going to turn this into a nine by nine area so that all the items that come from sieving don't, uh, they, when, when you sieve, um, a block, uh, gravel or whatever it may be, the items will fly out. And they'll just go all over the place. If you leave the area um, encaged, or if you just cover up the walls around it, um, the idols will stay in where the where you are sieving, and you don't really have to go anywhere. You can just stand in the middle, and you will get all the items. Later on, we'll be making an auto sieve and stuff. Oops, and stuff like that. Yeah, I do have auto jump turn on. Uh, and then it'll just auto see for us, so we don't have to sit here and manually do this on the video. Um, I'm going to need to infest another tree. I know, I already know that I don't have enough string. So we're going to let this grow, and then we're going to infest it. This. Hey, happy fun rock. How's it going? Oh, oh pet rock. Sorry, my bad. Uh, not there. We need to eat the rest of the apples. Not enough. Oh, no, not enough. Um, we can keep growing trees and just hitting them with a crook to get silkworm to give us more. Yeah, that's a lot to give us more. Um, and you keep growing trees. Two reasons. Zap, or to get worms, to cook them, and you can cook the worms, like so, to eat them. We'll cook five. Six. All of them, actually. You know what? Just cook them all. It's fine. And you can grab them, and boom. Like, eating just a little bit better than an apple. And I need to get more uh, leaves, because we're going to make water. And to do that, you just make a... Um, a wooden barrel, I guess. It should work, right? It should work. Oh, it's going to make dirt. Uh, well, I guess that's a way to make dirt. Alright, this you can just put the water from the... Uh, I think it's... The Oak Crucible. Okay, that, oh, okay, yeah, I need to... Get this, give me all the string. Nope, give me all the wood. Plant the new one. Okay, so... That's not enough wood. Come on, tree. You can do it. Oh, happy. F come on, Pet Rock. Work with me. 
Grow this tree. Yeah, you can do it looking right at me. Twerk. Yeah, here, but how about I do 360s? Will that work? How about I do it this way? I might grow that tree. Go, tree. Be happy. How about I go over here? Boom. No? Over here? Not working. I don't know, understand why this one's not working. Sometimes it takes a while, I guess. Um, eventually it'll just pop up. Eventually, you would hope. Maybe it's trying to become one bi really big one. And, well, we know it can't. How about I come over here? Will this get both? No. Will this get both? No. Yes. Okay, whichever. Nope. Can I get both? That'd be a nope. I guess I can't get both. I just, like... One, I don't care. Just grow. I need some more wood so that I can make a crucible. Come on, grow. There we go. That's enough. Boom. Okay. So, you do this, right? Jungle Crucible, that works. That completes a quest. We put... Of course you grow after I don't really need you. So, okay. You put the saplings into the Crucible. And uh, over time, it just becomes water. And boom, you have water. And you can put the water in here, which you don't really need to. You don't really need to. And you put dust in it, and you got clay. And then we need to make a oh crucible, or we need to make a crucible. As I kind of hiccup there a little bit, you make um to make I'm getting it out of there. We need to make a we need to make a stone crucible for lava, or just straight up a crucible. All right, that works. Put the sapling back. Uh, we're gonna do this twice, and we're gonna put one of these corners are gonna we're gonna have an infinite lava or infinite water source, lava source, water water source. Uh, so for now, we completed a quest. Boom! What do we get? Two ender chests. That's pretty good. Leave that over there though. All right, so now we're going to make. Uh, we're going to make the string meshes, which the string meshes is really easy. You just, actually, I should just do it this way. Do it, one string everywhere. And then you, that's seven. And I, we need more. One more, nine. And then we come over here and we put the meshes in our sieves. And what we'll do with the sieves is we'll put gravel through it and get ores, ore chunks, and then turn four ore chunks to ores and melt them in the furnace to make metal. So we just completed another quest. Uh, oops. Uh, random reward. Two double layer capacitors. Not bad. But it's good use for later. Um, so now... What I'm going to do is, instead of just breaking one at a time, you can take the cobblestone and compress them. And we'll do... Okay, so we're going to stop there for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to make... Uh, that's too many. We're going to make nine um, hammers. And what we're going to do with nine hammers is we're going to make a compressed hammer to and you need a compressed hammer to um to uh break compressed blocks and i know and i need to look i keep forgetting but i need to look that there's a key in that you can press i'm not sure what it is it k i can't remember the key that you can press on a um 
on a block and it'll turn it into a compressed block. But I don't remember the key. So you don't have to keep coming over here and doing that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to do it this way. Oh, actually. Actually, we don't need that. We're going to use gravel for what we're doing over here. So that was perfectly fine. So now you just stay in here and you hold right click and you will push the gravel through the seas and get ores. And as I said, it pops up in the air and because there are walls around the sieve, just you just come to you and pick it up. And I think that's it. I don't have any more gravel. Got enough iron pieces to make an iron iron bucket. Like a couple iron buckets. Actually we have enough to make one. Exactly one. Still perfectly fine. Uh, I want, for now, we'll put the ore chunks over here. We got one coal. And we'll just leave them in here for now. Uh, but we'll make another bucket for metals. Or another chest for metals. Okay, see, we got water here. So once this is done, we can make um, another uh, bucket of water for our infinite water source. That's enough. Um, I think I might just break one, or like maybe three. Let's break three. I want to make dusts because we need bone meal. Um, for uh our cru our uh, crucible, so that we can make lava. So for now, I'm going to leave those there. Is this enough iron? This is enough iron. So over here, we'll put this here. In there, that should be enough. We'll put the coal in there. I know. It's kind of, I'm, I'm wasting. I'm wasting. Should do this. Boom. Now I'm not wasting. Um, that's enough for two buckets. And we can grab one. This. Uh, we'll put the water over here for now. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to clear this area out of the four blocks. And we'll put the water into the corner here. And then we'll put one over there. And it's infinite lava. Or infinite water. I don't know why I keep saying lava. Uh, and I'll stop doing that once I get this, the next bucket. Um, as for this, because we have enough, we'll do this. And, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Wasn't paying attention. Alright, that's enough, whatever. Uh, we'll turn all of this in pressed. Just put it there and press that button. It balances it out. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do that. That's 14. Again, this is, is compressed gravel. Wait, was I using a... Uh, I don't know. I think I was using a regular hammer there. Probably could have, if I'd known that, I'll just do that more often. Here, we'll spread it out. I'm learning now too. Check that out. I just use a regular hammer on compressed stuff. It just gives me back compressed stuff. Okay. Yes. Oh no, it just gives me. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it now. I messed up the first time. Cool. It just gives me back what I originally had. I need to do this. Uh, walk over here. Spread this out. Spread it out a little bit. Spread. Boo. And dust. We'll uh, not do that right now. So th what we're gonna do here is. Um, we're going to put this into this corner and we have infinite water. So now we can take this water 
We put it in this bucket, and we take this dust. Boom, we have clay. We do it. I'm going to do it one more time. We have infinite water. So now we have enough clay to make our crucible. We need bone meal. So now we need to hope that all of this dust is enough or produces enough bone meal that we can make a crucible. And to make the obviously to make glass you put the piece uh you put one sand in the furnace and turn it into glass. So I mean that's really easy to do. And done. Oh, we didn't get anything out of that. Uh, that is enough bone meal. So we need seven total to make a crucible. That is one too many. And you just put one next to each other. You get porcelain clay. And then you go over to the crafting station. And you this. And you have an unfired crucible. And then you walk over to the... um. Oops. What, okay. Walk over to the furnace. And you put the unfired crucible in the furnace. And you will have a... Uh, fired crucible. Let's see if I can do that. quick. And I will take this and we'll put this in here. That will make a piece of glass later. Um, we're going to put the. We'll put this. I guess we'll put it over here for now. So what we need to do is we need to put a torch under the crucible because it will, what it's going to do is it's going to heat the crucible if you see it right at one uh, and then you put the cobblestone four of them it slowly turns the cobblestone into lava and it's going to take a little while but once that's done we I will take that lava and I will then put it on the bottom and it will turn the it will instead of rate one tick it'll be three a tick so it'll be so much faster it'll be three times faster but normally that's what i would do but what i'm going to do here is is i'm going to just take this lava and i'm going to put it in a bucket and i'm going to show you i'm going to make another cobblestone generator and i'm going to put it in a box move you back into the middle so that we can upgrade it later um and then i'm going to make another one well actually no yeah yeah we'll just show that i made it i guess because technically i got one here and that's a lot of cobblestone and i can i can just take all that cobblestone compress it and run it through the sieves um so for now we completed a quest i believe uh we completed two quests so random reward we got another wait i don't know what this one's for i'm learning as we go too kind of I don't know what this generator means. I'm not gonna. I don't want to place it down because if I can't pick it up, then it's just stuck there. Oh, uh, we got a party pickaxe. Okay, I know all about this one. That's that's OP. That is really OP. So with a party pickaxe, uh, what it does is if you right click, whatever, I'll just use it now. It's not that hard to make. Uh, it places a cake and you can eat it with food. If you left click, it instantly destroys most blocks. Like it'll instantly pickaxe what um What you do here? So, so well No, we'll do it over here because I did this. So just it's inst boom, instant, gone. Most blocks it'll do that with. Uh, it's, it's pretty busted. I can't believe I, I don't really know I mean, I guess just makes it easier for mining so like i could literally mine me a tunnel out right now in like a few seconds that's really busted and then there's a op like um there's a maddock that does the same thing except it's three by three and you could just barrel through i'm gonna leave that cake there because i'll be eating it um so we're at 300 which just would hurry up but it's to make a uh, cobblestone dinner is really easy. It's just six cobblestone and then you get a bucket of water and you put the bucket of water here or cobblestone generator. Put the bucket of water there. You grab the piece of glass 
uh, you put the glass in the middle and the right side will be a bucket of lava and it will make a cobblestone generator and do note that when you place a cobblestone generator uh, I'm almost positive you can't pick it back up I don't re remember I might just do it just to see I don't have an iron pickaxe but maybe this will work here's trial and error starts somewhere right okay that worked oh see if I click too long it destroyed some blocks and boom so technically this is what it makes and then you place it down and it outputs to the top and I believe it says it can output to the bottom uh, in a hopper and then you can input that into a drawer a chest storage system machines you can input into machines what we're probably going to do is I'm going to input it into a drawer and then that those drawers are going to input into uh, Crucibles make lava, and we're going to make lava power with magmatic dynamos. That's how we're going to get our power, probably, most likely. But, um, as you see, and you can put, it can store up to, I think, four buckets, the crucible can, four buckets of lava. So I can keep adding more to it. Um, but, this is the first day, or a little bit of, um... My stone block two adventures. Uh, I will probably take some time off the video or stream to do a bunch of sieving so I can get a bunch of ore, so that I can have iron tools and stuff. Uh, maybe maybe upgrade the sieves. I, I plan on upgrading them to diamond so that I you know I could just get a bunch more stuff. Like just do a bunch of sieving and get ready for the next video. Um, so that I don't have to do so much work during the video and have so much filler time in um but we, i think we completed yeah technically i've already done that six ender tanks okay that might be a bit much um but um the next one i plan to get the smell tree going i guess and maybe maybe visit the mining dimension. It's not that hard to visit the mining dimension. You just I guess as I said, do stairs up. Um storage. Might might start up a storage system, get drawers going. Um should have probably I'll change that into a barrel, probably. I'm gonna do a couple things before I get back into the uh before I record another video. Just to get it out of the way. Um, I'm going to upgrade this. Get some more wood and saplings and stuff. And just get it ready to go for the next episode. So I don't have to fill uh, the video too much with me farming. Um, but that is the end of the video. Uh, I would like to... If, if you liked the content, feel free to drop a subscription. Uh, I stream on Twitch every day from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. Central. Uh, most of the stream, or we'll just at least say the first half, maybe three hours of the four-hour stream. Um, it's it's usually Tarkov, Escape from Tarkov related. Um, I do play that. It is, however, triggering me, or you know, there's just things getting to me where I just don't want to play, and so I default go to Minecraft, and hopefully I figure out why I'm lagging so bad while I'm streaming and recording at the same time, um, and then I'll be playing Minecraft at the last hour of the stream or whatever. I don't always end at 1 a.m. Sometimes I'll go longer till like now, um, but uh, if you feel like dropping by and saying hi and from my vi and mention just mention you saw my video and that would that would definitely brighten my day. Um, because I enjoy streaming, and I enjoy playing games, and I don't want to be a stuck to one game. I'll probably have Escape from Tarkov videos up, as well as I might get into Ark. I don't know. My best friend plays it. I might. I don't know. But for now, it's going to be Minecraft videos. I plan on doing one or two a week, at least. And currently, it's going to be Stoneblock 2. Because, I, like I said, I love Skyblock stuff. I'll probably go back to, like, Sky Factory 3 and 4 and do, do other stuff um mod packs like this but uh, like i said if you if you like the content feel free to hit me up with a subscription it's free 
but it's not required. It's greatly appreciated, though, if you do. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Discord. If you go to my stream and you go at the bottom of it, you can see all the information. Um, yeah. And as always, for watching.